All right, welcome to Fallout London. Now, as a British person, I can positively say that I can give the most accurate, accurate historical and cultural comments on London as we go through it. Don't worry. Anything inside a museum belongs to us. Don't get in a hissy fit. So we're going to start a new game, obviously, and hopefully there aren't any crashes or anything. And Fallout London looks re it looks really good. Uh, Team Poland has made a massive, a massive amount of work on this game. And it was just easier to buy it on GOG than it was to set it up on Steam with my other copy of Fallout 4. But it's fine because, you know, at the end of the day, I still get to play it. Oh, the Empire! Woo! We love the Empire! The will to power has been the driving force of mankind. Because war... War never changes. War does never change. You know, I don't like that Bethesda came out and said that, oh, Fallout's gonna be nothing but US. No, we ain't gonna go to any other country. That is, like, really? That's just boring. You made an entire world and you just limit it to one fucking country. Pointless, really. It was kind of kind of sad to hear that. I'm so glad we got these fan games that do this, man. Apparently, it looks like we're looking through the glass. So we're getting like a weird... Or maybe it's just that preset. It's got like a weird shimmer on it. It's like double-faced. <laughs> That's kind of weird. I'm going to take a look at the extras. I was like a bit of damage on my face. Something to show that I'm a badass in a wasteland. Something like a, a scar across the eye. I always love those eye scars for some reason, you know? All right, and that will do. Bump character, yeah. Excellent. A rapid progress is being made. Progress. Anomaly. Of course. Now, what about the physical and mental development? My mental development is quite poor. All right, let's balance everything out. I think five-ish, just if we can. No, we can't. Okay, what is the minimum we can put everything up to? You know what? Okay, well, let's minimum it at three. I do like a good strength build, but eventually I do switch to weapons. Um, like, like, uh, rifles and such. But it's increased my intelligence, my charisma, my perception, and my strength. Luck, put up to five. And then put up my endurance. So everything else, four. Agility at three. And luck at five. It's okay if I'm not getting as much experience to start off with. And then heavy handed sounds good because I don't generally use power attacks. So, you know, who needs them, right? Not to worry. Let's put them back under. No, let me out! Ooh, an explosion. Oh, rip that guy. He fucking got obliterated. Yes, I'm being let out. Ah, oh, gunfire. Who are these people? Ah. All the scientists are dying. No, not the scientists. Let me out of this cage. I'm strong. Meow. I deserve to be let out. <laughs> that mean I can punch these ones? No. Don't have a pit boy yet, so I'm just picking up things for almost no reason. A finger, an ear. It's just a head in a jar. It's a moving head in a jar. What the hell? Why is there a moving head in the jar, dude? You, I think you need some dentistry work, mate. You need some good old fashioned dentistry. Actually, well, that's just an average British person, to be honest with you. Average British mouth. We don't have dentists. What are you talking about? There's no dentists over here in the UK. A clean coffee. Coffee cup? That is a cup for tea. What you on about? You don't have coffee cups. You only have tea cups. You should all be tea cups. You know, I need to take all your clothes so I can dress myself up. You you got absolutely decent. Where's that other guy, actually? The other scientist. He over here. Yeah, he is. I'm taking all your stuff. <laughs> oh, but yeah, there was a second scientist, wasn't there, over here? He got his head blown off as well. Yikes. Okay, so where did that guy come from? Oh, there's a ladder here. Okay. Doesn't look like I can go that way, though. I'm just looking around, really, because I'm just interested to see what the facility looks like. I mean, this kind of reminds me of, like, uh, more like New Vegas style, really, than it is, a, what was that I picked up? A tea can? Sugar? Oh, this is a tea station, look. Good old-fashioned tea station. You need them everywhere. Semi-skimmed milk. Hmm, skimmed milk. Semi-skimmed milk. Tea bags. 
Hell yeah, I'm taking those. I'm taking the teapot and the teacups and the saucers and everything. Like, I'm British. I need these things. A GOG.com t-shirt. A GOG.com t-shirt. My, my GOG. No, I'm going to say my GOG from now on, not my God. Thank you for playing our mod. Thank you to our patrons and Ko-Fi supporters. Y you're very welcome. Uh, I'm also streaming the mod. Do um, you think it would be possible to know where the fuck I'm supposed to be going? <laughs> As I really don't. I thought this would be the way. Apparently, this isn't the way to go, then? Maybe I have to go over here? Well, no, that just kills me. Okay. I really get punished. Very punished. Very fast. Damn. Like, you, you, I, I thought that if I was going to take damage from that, it would be minor, but apparently not. That was just major damage, just right out the gate. Okay, game. Can you reset the door mechanisms, please? Oh, those are shrews. Okay. Good thing my unarmed is pretty strong. Damn fucking rat looking things. No idea what a shrew is. It looks ugly as hell. It just looks like a weird mutated rat thing. Say what you will about the Americans. And I always did, but their technology trinkets were delightful. How long is this after the bombs fell? Delightful. Let's forget the atom bomb and look at their more practical contributions. Take the Pip-Boy, for example, a Robco design. It's a marvelous little invention. It contains all one needs to carry out daily tasks. It's obviously, I would never need such a device, but I could see it having some use. I'll reverse engineer it. There was always room for improvement with Robco invention. Ah, uh, yes, American inventions are always over-engineered to be less practical. You see, us British people like to reverse engineer their technology and make it 10 times better. That is why I we have this different design for the so-called Pip-Boy. Ah, yes, you see, this fantastic device. It's so much better. Far outperforms this ugly little Pip-Boy device. Look at it. It's awful. Disgusting. Beautiful. Look at this one. Fantastic. You can clearly see the Geiger counter. The door locks. <laughs> wow wow gotta blow on it to make it work yeah that's it that, that's fantastic that's exactly how you gotta do it man makes a lot of sense just like the days of old when you used to play on your cartridge devices always had to do that with the game boy collar and such uh rip the power Pick up the torch. I didn't even see that over there. <laughs> oh, look at that torch. It's one of the ones where you have to spin it to power it. That's fantastic. Where are you going? I doubt you'll make it far. Someone such as yourself. You were more useful as a lab rat. I am more than a lab rat. But alas, it seems I'm not long for this world. Ah, sucks of you, Agent Smith. It's a shame, really. There was so much I wanted to do. Off you go, then. Be seeing you. Uh, bye-bye, Agent Smith? Nah, nah, I don't believe that. She can't be dying, right, right, like, like this out the gate. Like, come on, no, Agent Smith, no, I'll be seeing you again. I kind of, kind of guarantee it. Uh, it seems too early to be writing off a character like that. Way too early. I, I feel like it's a ruse to make you think that they're dead. I don't know. I, I didn't see them burn to a crisp or anything, so I've got to say they're still alive. Government property. Wow, I had no idea I was in government property. You are quite the wayfarer, aren't you? Agent Smith? No? Escaping all that hubbub with all you've been through. I'm impressed. It seems I neglected to introduce myself. Very unprofessional of me. Indeed. I'm Ms. Smythe. Smythe? Okay, not Smith. And you? Well... It doesn't matter who you are. But, but, you were just I'm saying sure you were going to die. I'm sure you have many questions. 
And perhaps someday I'll answer them. Uh, okay. So but she was done. Wayfarer. Let's not stand on parade. Since I'm all for giving one a sporting chance, I've unlocked the doors. Go. Why, thank you. Much Stacey. obliged. And remember, how gentlemen mind the gap. I don't like the. I don't like the way you put that. Mind the gap. What am I? It's fucking top of a skyscraper or something? No, I wouldn't put it past them. Jammed. Door inaccessible. A novice lock. Wow, thanks. I know how to. I know how to lock pick. Thanks. A silver table knife and a note. Do it. You think I won't? You think I won't? I'll, I'll fucking do it. Yeah, see? I'll do it. We thought I wasn't gonna do it. I'll do it. Fucking worth it, man. <laughs> no, but seriously, where the fuck am I supposed to go there? I'm not gonna be told what I can and cannot do by some fucking piece of paper. Okay, so clearly I do need to jump. But I guess I gotta do it correctly, maybe? I'll probably see what there is to jump into. Uh, the water's too shallow, I think. Unless, unless I'm seeing something that, uh, uh, you know, I'm just too stupid to realize. Woo! You cowabunga! Oh, uh, uh, am I just missing the water and that's what's killing me? Or am I just not supposed to be jumping down here? It could be either, to be honest with you. I, I could be doing stupidity. <laughs> yeah, I'm just being stupid, okay. It doesn't matter, the water's not deep enough. I can't survive that fall. Okay, so if I can't go that way, where am I supposed to go here? The note said do it, and I did do it. Not that the note was right, because it doesn't seem like I can. Not unless I can, like, drop onto that there. I doubt that'll, yeah. that'll still kill me, yeah. Okay, so where am I supposed to go from here? That is a very good question. Am I supposed to go back downstairs? That can't be right. There must be something up here. Otherwise, why would it send me up here? Oh, yeah, I'm fucking dumb. That literally goes up. So I was jumping down, back down to where I just was. Like an absolute incredible moron. Because it takes you up there, you see? So there must be a way to jump there somewhere to something that I'm missing because I haven't seen a way out now I don't see anything here as to where I can go I haven't seen anything that is a way out of this place unless that's a place I can go to no don't look like it and I didn't mean to fall there I meant to jump not fall I don't think this is anywhere where I can go to be honest with you so that's a bit of a bummer <laughs> that's just instant death okay apparently that's instant yeah. Yeah, there, there's nowhere to go here. Okay, so I'm very confused. I'm not sure why Team Fall On would make this confusing, considering this is like literally the start of the game. Seems they made it confusing for no reason here. But then upstairs seems to have nowhere to go. And it seems that the London Underground, unless this. My fucking god, check the door before you do anything, you moron. I didn't think those were doors. I thought it was like shutters. I'm really that dumb. Jesus Christ. My gog in heaven. In the event of nuclear attack, take shelter in your nearest underground station. London underground. You know, you're in here when there's shit around. To be honest, that's probably fucking accurate. But I should change shit to piss. Everyone pisses in the London underground. They just piss all over the floors. Ah. Disgusting. Come to London, they said. You'd have a grand old time, they said. Oh. I've been to London like three times in my life, and every time it was fucking worthless to go there. Worthless, pointless, I hated it. London fucking sucks. And that's coming from a British person, so don't go to London. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a good old fine looking chap. I'll be taking that hat. You don't need it no more, pal. That's a good old fancy hat. I like it. How fancy. I'm very fancy. I'd rather have a top hat, though. Become a true British man with a knife, shall I? But now all I've got is this walking cane. I'll fucking crack you over the head with this walking cane, mate. You understand me? Yeah. You better give me all you got. Bloody wanker. You'll be getting the cane. Wafers? Oh, give me the wafers, man. That's like fucking gold. 
That's like bloody gold. It's like cocaine. Give me the fucking wafers. The pink wafers. Bloody ticket machine won't let me through. And apparently I can't jump over there. That's, that's not how British operate. We just jump right over these things. We don't fucking use them. Don't tell me I gotta find a ticket. I'm not being dumb this time. That, that's the way you've got to go right there. I guarantee it. And I'll take another look around because I could be being absolutely fucking dumb. There's a green light over here, but it's blocked off. There's nothing in the birthday store. Yeah. Sorry. Ah. I, I, I couldn't allow the cans to stand. Right, this is Okay, this is the only one that has... Oh, there's a ticket right there. Okay, there we go. I uh, should follow the light, the red light, that's leading me towards the only ticket machine that fucking works. That way is inaccessible. I think that one's inaccessible. Is that my way? That one's also inaccessible, yes. And the only one that's not inaccessible is this one over here. Well, at least one of them's still working. Going out into London. Better put on my stab proof vest. Gonna get stabbed by everything around. I actually wonder if this thing's just walking around with a knife, just fucking waiting to stab you. It beats the crap out of those kids. <laughs> oh! I just went on here because I thought it'd be stuff on here. I didn't realize I'd be trapped on a train. Oh, damn it. I've been kidnapped by the London train system. Can you believe it? Leaves on the track. <laughs> it's fucking accurate too. <laughs> Uh, train is cancelled due to leaves on the track. Uh, every time it snows, it's like, oh, there's like less than a millimeter of snow. Uh, I I'm sorry, but we're going to have to cancel every train. Fucking ridiculous. Leaves on the fucking track. Uh, that made me chuckle. <laughs> if there's going to be more fucking hilarious just like that, this game's going to be 10 out of fucking 10, guys. 10 out of 10. Uh, I can just see I'm gonna have a blast with this game. Iron Brew. Oh, the game crashed. Fuck. I first crashed after an hour. Uh, look, all I did was mention Iron Brew. Iron Brew is actually not that bad. It's actually a half decent drink. It's not fucking fantastic, though. No. It's, uh, it's, uh, I think it's a Scottish, yeah, Scottish carbonated soft drink. It's all right. It's not fantastic. Not the best thing in the world. It's okay. It's, it's not fantastic, though. I, I wouldn't recommend it to everyone. But, you know, it's not the worst drink in the world. It's kind of like, if it's there, I'll have it. But I wouldn't go out my way to buy it, if you know what I mean. All right, I can handle a look up the crashes. It is, after all, a modded game. It's not a standalone. If it was a standalone, that'd be fantastic. But, you know, you know Bethesda, they wouldn't allow that fucking jackasses. They could li literally, team, I guarantee you, if Team Polon could, they would go over to Bethesda and be like, look, can we sell this game? We'll give you a sizable profit from this game. Because they're not making, te te Team Polon put this out for free. It's not paid for. So like, Bethesda could turn around and be like, yeah, you know what, sure, that's fine. Uh, just give us this cut for the price. And the thing is, Bethesda would make money from this game that they didn't even have to fucking work on. Due to leaves on the track. <laughs> That's hilarious. Because it's accurate. Like, over where, I, where I live, we've got this service called Northern Rail. My God, if there's anything on the tracks, like, like, even if it's, like, a little bit of rain, they'll cancel the fucking trains. Because they absolutely suck. I don't know, the loading screen just won't load me into that next zone. So, uh, I suppose we'll have to see. Um, I broke the game. Okay. All right. That's not supposed to happen. Um, because that was just out on the tracks. Okay, and you can walk into the loading zone. You can just walk into the loading zone. That's, that's interesting. Okay. Well, the game has loaded. Whatever those scientists did to you, it took a toll on your body until you find a cure for this ailment. You'll take 10% more damage in combat. Further investigations into your origins may lead you to a remedy. The crash left you rattled. I didn't even see a crash. And it will take more than a stim pack to fix this kind of damage until you seek out a medical professional. You will deal 10% less damage in combat. I don't know what the cutscene was supposed to be. Uh, there was supposed to be a cutscene there, I guess, uh, of the train crashing. But unfortunately, I didn't get that. I'm going to save the game here and give it another go. Because uh, uh, you see, there's a there's a, a section in the disc called called Train Crash Crash, which crashes the game. So you know, 
Uh, so they're, they're clearly aware of it, and they will patch it, I assume. So, you know, it, it's not a problem. That obviously, there's going to be some issues and some bugs, especially because of the whole fucking problem of Bethesda updating the game in the first place, which caused a lot of issues and bugs anyway for various mods, which, which you know, the, the game was working perfectly fine. And uh, then they patched the game with a bunch of garbage, which caused everything to break and everyone had to scramble to update things. And it was just a mess. Like, they ruined the game, really. Because there was no need for it. Honestly, there was absolutely no need for that so-called next-gen patch. But, uh, you know, they did that and it, it is what it is. But, you know, oh well. No, okay, so there's just not a cutscene. Well, I guess you do hear it sort of crash the train. Whether there's supposed to be a cutscene or not is a better question. It could be that there's not even supposed to be a cutscene of the train crashing. It, that, that does just seem a little weird to me, though. That there should be a cutscene. So, you know, um, oh well, no cutscene, doesn't matter. It would, it would have been better to put in a cutscene of some kind to have the train crash. Whether they could have made that happen, I don't know. But, you know, it would have been better. I want to see where, the, where we crashed into, where the train, because it was more like just a loading scene than anything. So, you know, I didn't really get to see much, but that's fine. Ah, oh, it seems there's some gentlemen over there. I'm going to go say hello to them. I wonder what the currency is here. Good day, gentlemen. Bloody hell, what was that? Sounded painful, if you ask me. Better not be those dogs up to something. I swear if it is. Not everything's the dogs, Johnny. You, you, look you like guys shit. really didn't see You're the right. fucking train crash. This one just came off the train, boss. Quiet, the both of you. Well, well, well. If it isn't the lab rat, you made it out. You're in a right state, ain't you? Never had a crash. Never had a before. crash. You have now. Charisma four. Do you have any water? I'm Good. real thirsty. Winston. Yeah. Enjoy. Who are you? Gaunt. Sebastian Gaunt. A very Lee nice man. Bridges are Chill Winston and Johnny Shrapnel. Johnny it's Shrapnel, what a name. Johnny. We're the Vagabonds. All right, Vagabonds. The roughest, toughest, sharpest gang round these parts. Not like the dogs. Snuff it, Johnny. Don't scare away our new acquaintance. Don't sound so, that bad, to be honest. You exactly. You, you kind of sound like gentlemen. Well then, Wayfarer. Seems like you've got two choices. Does seem like that you indeed, could gentlemen. You down that way to the Thames folk. Ain't exactly pleasant to look at, but appearances can be deceiving. I see, I see. They may even know a thing or two about that lab, seeing as they sold us the location. Otherwise, you can stick it out with me and my mates. We help you out, you help us out. Well, you seem like a, 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 a very good set of gentlemen. So, you know what? I'll stick it out with you guys, because why not? Ace, we could use an extra pair of hands. No worries, lad. Yeah, take this for the road. Its best days are behind it. Thank you very much. Ooh, ooh, I got a knife. I got a knife, guys. I got a knife. Look, I forgot my first knife. Yeah, now we can go stabbing. Go stabbing. It's seen bad days, but that's fine. The worse it, the knife is, the more you can deal, damage you can deal. You can give them fucking tetanus. Yeah, seems like everyone around here is an absolute fucking twat. We've got a small camp across the road. So it seems as if uh, I should probably stick with the Pagabon. What the fuck? What? Ricky, what the fuck? Ricky! The attacked us. Tricky Ricky. Took us by surprise. How many? Two or three IODs. IODs? Fucking dogs. Fuck them all. And what the fuck were they doing here? They... They were... I feel faint. That's got a fucking Christ sticks of pitted. dogs. Wayfarer, get a first aid kit from Greenwich Station. Aye, aye, well, Captain. Wouldn't hurt none. All right, any fucks in here want to give me some trouble? I'll fucking stick them. You're going to give me trouble, mate? Yeah, I'll stick you. <sighs> fucking hell, this guy's actually really strong. Yeah. Probably because I take extra damage. Yeah. Tricky Ricky. Wait, where'd the other guys go? You came back. Yeah. Hey. No okay. That. Um. Gaunt's gone, and he was the one with the medical know-how. Don't suppose you could fix me up? I could attempt. Um. I thought you knew what you were doing. 
Go to the Swan and Might. Give them dogs hell. Rip. Okay, well, rip tricky Ricky. I'll just take all your clothes. Thank you. Where is the so-called Swan and Might? All the way over there. Okay. Well, pose. I have to meet up with the Vagabonds at some point. But for now, I'm just going to do some exploring. Because why not? We've got all of London to explore, really. Is that just a pirate ship? Excuse me? The Cuddy Saw. Dig in, lads. We'll be scrunning on Civvy tonight, sailors. You think you're all pirates in here? I'll tell you what a real pirate looks like. Pirate of the high seas. They're also known as the British Empire. The British Navy will slice and dice you into a thousand pieces and then we'll colonize your country. Just like the good days of old. Jack Tar, you're not a fucking Imperial soldier. You're nothing more than a Ooh, musket. I'm going to put on that outfit. Why? Because I work for the Empire. The British Empire, that is. Why, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, it's got to put in the black powder. Push down the ball. Wonderful. Oh, he's loaded. Put on the powder. Jesus Christ, I hope there are better guns in there. I want to be using a musket pistol from fucking. Back when the Empire existed, the yeah, British Empire. Why is there an invisible wall here? Uh, yes, I am an admiral of the British Navy. In the Navy, in the Navy, we like to blow up other countries with the cannons and take the things, cause in the Navy, the British Navy. Okay, so that doesn't lead anywhere. There's the Cuddy Saw. For some reason, it's just like underground, partially. I don't. Why is it like this? And how did it get here like this, man? What the hell? Oh, yeah, I forgot I shot you in the back, didn't I? Forgot you got blasted in the ass. Okay, so it seems like I can't access the Cuddy Saw from here by the looks of it. I don't want to run into enemies that are. Jesus, they're putting heads on spikes. Look at that. Psychopaths! I don't expect anything else, to be honest with you, though. There's the British Empire people. Well, well, they think they're the British Empire anyway, but they're not. I'm the real British Empire, I'm afraid. Ah, this isn't accurate. They're, they're, they've got toilet paper in them. These things never have toilet paper in them. What are you talking about? What the? Enemy sight. <laughs> fucking hell. Captain fucking knocked my bloody block off. He cracked me a good one. The hand the game crashed. You know what? I think for now that'll do it, actually. Uh, game's good. I am tired, though. Uh, so, you know, um, I didn't really sleep very well. But, uh, yeah, so the game's great. Fantastic. Great. Uh, I didn't really expect to be playing this today. I think I'm just going to end here, guys. And I'll see you guys later.